2016 season coming to an end today. Coach, just talk about how special this squad was, a uh, really uh, unique group of seniors. Yeah, you know, the, the seniors, a lot of them, all these guys were a part of two conference championships, two regular season championships, something that's never been done at MSUB uh, in the GNAC, I believe, in any sport, and uh, or at MSUB at any sport. And, uh, you know, I, I got to tip my cap to all of them. I mean, we, we fought through a lot of adversity this year and finished really strong, got a, a co-championship out of the deal in the regular season. Uh, played really two good baseball games yesterday and lost a, lost a tough one. Uh, losing uh, Durbin for the rest of the year was, uh, you know, it was, it was one of those that just took the wind out of us. And uh, we just didn't really recover. It just wasn't our best, you know, it wasn't our best day today. No one wants to lose uh, like that. But, you know, if you look at our season, boy, there were very few lopsided losses that we were a part of. So. Um, we did that to teams more than they did that to us. So uh, our guys competed hard, uh, a group of high character guys. Uh, we're going to be right in the mix for the GNAC uh, uh, GPA what? award again, I'm sure. And um, just so really proud of the whole group. And, and we have a lot of young guys in the program that are going to be good moving forward too. So, you know, I feel like we're on the right track and we're working as hard as we can to bring quality guys in here. And the results are starting to show up. So proud of this group. 2015 season, you had your first winning year since baseball was reinstated at MSUB in 2006. This year you back it up and you get to 30 wins. Just talk about um, the steps you're taking. You mentioned a little bit, but uh, the hands that the seniors are leaving this program in and what they've meant. Well, I think mostly they've, they've showed the young guys how to work, how to be persistent, uh, how to deal with adversity. Uh, you know, you and I have talked about this a lot, Evan, but there are very few... Uh, teams in the country that have to play their first 25 or 30 on the road every single year and where we're located with our weather we're always going to be in that spot so uh, the way that it has to happen is that we have to get hot at the in the second half hold our own in the first half get hot in the second half we've done that two years in a row uh, so you know our guys have to deal with uh, a lot of travel a lot of a lot of other things that uh, uh, you know I think the average fan probably doesn't recognize so it just shows the character of those guys and uh, you know, I know our young guys are gonna are gonna benefit from being around that that group of ten seniors, just like this group of ten seniors benefited from the the seniors last year. So uh, it's not any one class, but it, several bunched up in a row uh, that that I think you know make a good program, and that's what we're after. Not a good team, but good a good quality program that's graduating guys and, and getting a good result on the field too.